Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And as always, today we have a fun new deck. This deck is going to be interesting to say the least. I'm not sure what it's going to do, but I wanted to play one of the cards and I wanted to see what it would do. It's it's one of the mythic rares and it's interesting. It, it, yeah, it's something. Yeah. Before we get into it, guys, I just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will be down below. Go check it out. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. And uh, the deck we're talking about today is called Rangers Unite. And we are essentially playing with Magna, the, the uh, creator of all regalias. And we're playing the card Origin of the Seven Lands. So that is the main goal of the deck. But we'll get to it. Yeah, we'll get to that. So, Magna, the creator of regalia. He is the newest, one of the newest rulers. And he's got Judgment of all the colors. And you may, pay, you may have strangers in your deck, but you cannot have more than one stranger. So you get to play them in the deck, which is kind of nice, but you can only have one. Uh, when he judges for five, which is all the colors, yeah, he enters, you search your deck for a stranger resonator and put it in the field and shuffle your deck. And his god's art is Valhalla, one of each color, destroy all other non-stranger resonators, non-magic stone entities, your opponent cannot play spells or abilities until the end turn. So he clears the board, except for strangers, and you're like, cool, let's you 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 lose your stuff yeah so at the beginning of the turn you do this and like well you can't play spells so my turn i swing in thanks yeah it gets pretty nutty but that's that's what he's for all right uh first of course of huger still it's a one drop colorless enter such your deck for a regalia that shares the same attribute of the will that you paid the, for this card and then shuffle your deck you can tap her produce one will of any attribute only spend this to play regalias which you will be doing a lot of yeah for sure. that is what she's for uh, here's one of the other win cons of the deck is Shakti, the Red Eyes Swordmaster. It is a red and a black for a 6 6. Um, for effects and regalias you control, treat this card as a J ruler. And whenever you play a sword art, copy it. You may choose a new target for your copy. So she's good. She gets to do extra sword arts, which is awesome. And you just get to be like, hey, all my regalia triggers are make her awesome. Yep. Of course, we have uh, one of my favorite strangers is Will of the Wisp. It's a green and a white quick cast barrier, so you can't kill it. It's a zero ten. So enter, draw a card, pay zero, return this card to its owner's hand. Yeah. So stupid. Yeah. So it's two mana, and you get to draw a card and then just play it again. Yeah. Cool. So and you can flash in, block your little dude. Cool. Oh, kill it, uh, then bounce it back. I'm gonna draw a card. Thank you. Yeah. Next stranger we have is Kronos, the master of the labyrinth. He is blue, blue, and black for a 10-10. Enter, and at the beginning of your turn, choose one that hasn't been chosen. Your opponent can't play resonators, they cannot play chants, they cannot play additions, or they cannot play regalias. This dude does a lot more work than you actually think he would, mm -hmm. because it it's usually that turn, if you choose it right, that just breaks it. That they can't, like you're like, hey cool, don't play, yeah. don't play dudes, and they can't really stop you. You just gotta read your opponent in their deck, yeah. pretty much. Guardian of the Outlands is a green, red, green. It's a 0 20. Enter, put the top the card of your Magic Stone deck in the field, which will help you quite a bit. At the beginning of your turn, this card's attack becomes equal to its defense until the end of turn. So it's a 20 20 for 3. Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, Apollon, the God of Light, it is a 2 white and 2 for a 14 17 with Pierce. If damage will be dealt to you, it's dealt to this card instead, and when he dies, your life becomes 4,000. <laughs> Which is so, ridiculous. It's there to help protect you, because this deck's going to take some time to work right. Yeah. Because you need, like, seven turns at least, <laughs> which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Well, yeah. Um, but this dude's there to just help reset the game if you need. He's just super powerful. Uh, Fafnir. Fafnir. Yeah, I was like, I, I was going to say Falnir for some reason. <laughs> I was trying to stop myself. It's two black and a red and one, 12-12, a 12, 12, uh, flying dragon. Enter, choose all or even, destroy all the resonators with total cost matching your choice. So M0 is even, so tokens and all that fun stuff. It's just a good, nice, cute little board wipe. Yeah, for it's a good sure. board wipe. Perfect. So, the card of the deck that we're playing today is Origin of the Seven Lands. Yes. It is one of each color for it to be played. When it enters, if you own cards named Faria, Melgus, Prissia, Valentina, Machina, Rizard, and Arla, and they are revealed outside the game. For each of them, put a resonator token copy of their J ruler side into the field without copying the J ruler type. And you can pay zero to play God's Arts of J rulers, which is really your J ruler. So Magna can play his for free, and you get a copy of all of them. So its first other ability is you pay one, reveal this card from your hand. You may reveal a card you own from outside the game and keep revealed until the end of the game. Produce one will of any attribute shared with that card. 
play this ability only during your turn and only once per turn. And only if you didn't play the activated abilities of cards called this from your hand this turn. <laughs> so once per turn. Yeah. Once per turn on your turn, you can do that and be like, hey, go get a dude and reveal it. And the fact that you're not wasting mana or will to do this, then you're good. And it's a filter, which is awesome. Yeah, it's kind of nice because you can filter it to what you need. And so like turn one, you have this in your hand, hopefully, and then Yggdrasil. It's awesome because you're like, cool, go get a dude, get that mana, play Yggdrasil, go get a Regal. Yeah, whatever Regal you want. You essentially want to have this in your hand turn one and then play it every turn. Yeah. Because you want to make sure you get seven of the dudes revealed so you can play this on turn seven or whatever. And be like, hey, cool, all my dudes are in play. You do get their J-Rulers, their, their J-Ruler God's Arts, but you have to pay for them. But that's still fine, because you still get seven abilities. Just yeah. to be like, hey, cool, do a thing. You're like, thanks, do that stuff. Of course, uh, we have to have Genesis. It costs zero, so it's free of Regalia. If your J-Ruler is Magna, and there's a fill, uh, it, it's fine. Tap, produce one will of any attribute. Spend this only to play God's Art abilities, Stranger, Resonators, 12 Protective DD, Sword Arts, and Mage Arts. So, pretty good. That's yeah. what you need. Uh, next is Light of the Sacred Spirit. It is a sword art. It is one quick cast. Choose one. If you control Lars, you choose both. We do not, so it's yeah. fine. Uh, remove target resonated with 900 attack or more from the game. Or search your deck for a 5 heroes resonated and put in your hand. Which, Shakti is a 5 heroes, Oof. so you get to go get her if you need her. Or you can remove dudes, which is mostly what you're going to do. Yeah, especially if they're like, turn one Sylvia, and you're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay, thanks. Yeah, cool. I'll need her gone. All right, and of course the regalios. We're gonna quickly go over them because yeah, we've been playing these for quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. We're just doing the bonuses for Shakti for yeah. sure. So Levi swiftness. Yeah, Leviathan gives swiftness. Excalibur gives plus four plus four. Uh, Caduceus gives drain. Wings of the Archangels gives flying. Maribel Type Zero gives barrier, which With, is awesome. Which is one of the strongest things that will definitely be, you know, doing for sure. Yeah, and those are the regalias that we have for the extras. Um, and then we have Return of or the Last Secret Sword, yep. which is a red, red, and a black. For a sword art, you may banish all entities except for one, and this card deals a thousand to your opponent instead of playing for it. But you just pay three, and you're like, cool, take ten. Like, this yeah. deck's gonna take time, so you might as well just be like, hey, cool, take ten. And you have Shakti, take twenty. Yeah, if you have Shakti, this copies it, so you're just like, cool. <laughs> yeah, do this two times in a row? <laughs> yeah, you win the Actually, game. you can, if you had two in the deck. <clears throat> And Shakti, you can pay for it and then do the other one for free. Yeah, you just gotta keep Shakti. <laughs> you just win. Yeah, that's cute. All right, uh, return to soul. Destroy all stranger resonators, or non-stranger resonators, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a uh, three white and one. And this is, like you said, we're taking our time here. So we're gonna make sure we yeah. get there. This is a sword art and a mage art. So all your regalias can help pay for it. Oh yeah. Uh, also we have Holy Nova, which is a two white and two blue. Destroy all resonators. This card is awakened, doesn't matter, because you're matter. not going to do that, because yep. you don't have a stranger deck. But it's just four mana, destroy all boards, destroy all dudes, and we're taking our time because you haven't played seven times. So you're just like, cool, Holy Nova. You're like, yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, that is the deck. The uh, stones are relatively simple. We have Ruler's Memoria, because we're playing a whole lot of Regalia, yep. and Genesis will be on turn one, hopefully. Uh, Magic Stone of the Heat Ray. Magic Stone of the Black Silence, and then Anorak is Memoria. So we're mostly five colors, so you want as many colors as possible. And it's one deck that I can probably play and not get mana screwed. <laughs> more than two, so we're all good. Yeah. Uh, the uh, sideboard is pretty interesting. It's I'm not going to go over what they do because we have, and it's just what they are. It's all the J rulers. It's the seven seven leaders, Machina, Valentina, Rizard, Prisia, Melgus, Faria, Arla. Uh, the two cards, though, to go over that you could use is Lamorek, the third knight. It is a blue and a white for 6-6. Six, six. This card gets plus 2, plus 2, and drain as long as you control a Regalia, and Regalia can control game barrier. So it's another way to help you with Regalia's do yep. stuff. And Heavenly Flash, which is 2 white and 2 green, destroy all resonators without flying. So if you need so more <laughs> board wipes, you can play it. Go for it. But I was like, I don't think I need more than 8. We'll be fine. So forth, so on. Yeah, yeah. For now, we'll see how it goes. That is the deck, guys. The deck list will be down below. Go check it out. It's gonna be super fun to play. I. It's gonna be interesting yeah. to see what it does. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's it's kind of a slower deck, but it is what it is. And uh, the deck list will be down below. See y'all again next time. Goodbye. Bye.
Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.